Hey, what's up guys? I want to introduce you to a print on demand company and production partner awkward styles you may have heard of them recently because I know I saw some other print on demand youtubers talking about them and I watched a lot of the videos and realized man there's a lot of really glowing positive reviews so I had to see what it was all about for myself and in this video I'm gonna try to summarize uh, the most relevant things that you would want to know about awkward styles the first one by the way you can see right behind me they've got a nice price advantage over some of their biggest competition, for instance, Printful and the Bella Canvas 3001 t-shirt that we know is probably the most popular uh, print-on-demand t-shirt that we sell. Well, Printful charges $12.95 for that t-shirt and Awkward Styles, you can bring the price down as low as $9.70. So that's something that caught my attention right away. And uh, there's there's more to it than just that, but obviously, like if you're anything like me and you're thinking, okay, a new production partner, is there a pricing advantage? That's the first thing that runs through my mind. And I just want to tell you before we even begin this video, yes, there is. Okay, good. Now let's get to the main part of the video. So again, Awkward Styles is a print-on-demand production partner. And I actually really like their company slogan. It is, you sell, we fulfill. It's so basic, yet it's right to the point, And it's what we should want to hear as print-on-demand sellers. Uh, we focus on research design, listing optimization, marketing, and when we get orders, well, we outsource them to the experts, to Awkward Styles, who have the facilities, they have the uh, blank products that they can then use the machines to print on, they've got the staff that are trained to use them, uh, it, they've got everything we need, it's the perfect complement to someone like you and me, the print-on-demand sellers. Now, the first thing I want to just briefly show you is, uh, well, I don't know this firsthand, but I saw a really cool video on the Hustle Ninjas channel where uh, he actually got to go and visit the Awkward Styles facility. And I, I'll, I'll, I'll link to this in the description, but take a quick peek with me at their facility based in Los Angeles, California. Maybe one day I'll get to go out there and tour it myself, but it is really cool uh, and completely new to me to see people like operate these machines that actually print the finished products. Because as print-on-demand sellers, let's be honest, we don't ever have to really see them or touch them. Uh, they go straight from the people we outsource to, to our customers. So I thought that was really interesting. I just wanted to show you that. And you can watch the full video in the description. I will link to it. So why should you care? I know your time is important. So let me just right up front uh, try to answer this question for you. Why should you care about Awkward Styles? We know that they are one of, you know, quite a few print-on-demand production partners. What makes them special? What sets them apart? Well, to start, they're featured in uh, Printify. When you sort by lowest price, you actually get awkward styles right there at the top. So uh, again, I don't know if you're like me, my brain always thinks, is there a pricing advantage to using a uh, print-on-demand production partner A versus production partner B versus production partner C, all right? And in this case, you can see awkward styles has a very high score, 9.8 on Printify. Uh, prices from 7.95 shipping from four dollars 80 cents average production time 2.28 days quite quick and that's going to make us look good in our customers eyes as well as to the platforms we're selling on because by the way they, they do measure those metrics any of these quantifiable metrics they are you know measuring them and benchmarking us against our competition so if we have very fast production times Etsy is going to give us more favorable placement in search results. Okay, I can't guarantee that 100%, but I'm quite sure that their engineers are smart enough to um, factor that in when they're doing um, calculating who ranks where in search results. All right, so I just wanted to show you that um, with Printify too, we know that the, the, the actual fulfillment costs tend to vary based on production partner, the color of the shirt, or the color of the product, I guess I should say, uh, the size, etc. So when you use Awkward Styles through Printify, on average, you're probably going to be looking at paying around ten dollars and thirty-three cents, uh, and that can vary again depending on what size the customer ends up ordering and color. Now, if we compare ten dollars and thirty-three cents to Printful, that cost can go up even higher. Printful is charging twelve dollars and ninety-five cents for the Bella Canvas three thousand one. If I had to guess, this is probably this is just me speculating. It's probably Printful's most profitable product because they are charging a substantial margin uh charging basically 13 dollars for fulfilling and then they're shipping tacked on on top of that guys so 
Um, the Bell Canvas 3001, we know it's popular. They even tag it as a bestseller. Uh, Printful's getting away with murder, $12.95. Uh, from there, Printify, if you're just looking at awkward styles, um, we're, even though it says $7.95, realistically, you're probably paying something like $10 uh, and what was it, $0.33, cents, I think? Yeah, $10.33. Now, if you go to the Awkward Styles website, which is linked at the top of the description, you can get it from uh, $10.30, but if you use their pro plan, which if you use the link at the top of the description, guess what? You get a whole month for free. You get 30 days free of their pro plan, and hopefully my chair isn't blocking it. Uh, I'll hide myself for a second, but it'll bring the price down from $10.30 to $9.70. And that is a pretty significant advantage over both Printify and Printful. So that is something I hope you'll uh, take me up on that offer because, again, it is free to sign up. Oh, and what's this? Guys, if you use my code, you get 60 days for free additionally of the pro plan. So that's 90 days. That's three months free just for signing up with a free account and using the code Ryan Hogue. So I will put all that information for you in the description. And I hope you take advantage of it. I also, if you're watching this video in the future, I don't know how long it'll be available, so make sure you sign up now. Again, it is F-R-E-E -E free. All right, next, creating t-shirts. I'm actually going to walk you through how I created the three products that I did for sample orders, then I'm going to review them for you just so you get an idea of the quality of Awkward Styles. Uh, I did mention I watched some other YouTubers uh, do some Awkward Styles reviews, and, um, you know, hey, based on their experience, they were all pretty positive, but how did my products turn out? <laughs> I guess we'll see. So you can find the product catalog in the sidebar once you are um, signed up for Awkward Styles. It'll be on the left-hand side there, and it's labeled product catalog. You can see they have like home and living, accessories, wall art, men's clothing, women's clothing, and behind me, uh, kids' clothing and accessories. Uh, by the way, as I mentioned, some other YouTubers have done some videos on this recently. So we have the Hustle Ninjas video. I'll link to these in the description. Uh, one from Kerry Egler. He got a couple Awkward Styles videos, actually. Uh, Cassie Johnson, uh, I did a great interview with her, by the way, a couple weeks ago. And she actually compared, I think, eight different um, print on demand production partners on Printify. And guess what? They actually had, she had very favorable uh, results as far as the metrics that she uh, was measuring in her video uh, for Awkward Styles. You can see print time one day, print quality ranked first. So um, I don't know, how's it going to be for me? I guess we'll have to find out. But by the way, check out those videos. They are linked in the description because they go a little bit more in depth than I'm probably going to go in this video since I want to cover, um, you know, a pretty broad set of topics. So for my sample order, I went to men's clothing. They have a pretty broad selection of t-shirts. I went ahead and I selected the Bella Canvas 3001. As I mentioned, probably the most popular print on demand t-shirt that we are selling on, you know, Etsy, Amazon. Uh, if you sell a premium t-shirt on Amazon Merch, it's the Bella Canvas 3001. So I went ahead and I selected the Bella Canvas 3001. And here is the product designer. Uh, it is not overbearing. Sometimes they can be. Uh, this is pretty simple, pretty straightforward, easy to use. Now, notice at the bottom, I don't know if I highlighted it, but at the bottom of this page, I guess I can hide myself really quickly. Uh, you want to select all of the colors. Well, this is me doing the sample order, by the way. But you don't just create an order you actually create a template okay so in this template you're most likely going to want to hit that little button that says colors and right next to it it says select all that way it'll enable all the colors or at least select the colors that make sense after that oh by the way they make it really nice they have a selection for all light colors and all dark colors so i think that's really smart next to that they have sizes you can go ahead and just click select all make your life easy okay so that's at the bottom of the page right next to me um by default, it has white selected, but um, you know most of my designs are optimized for a black t-shirt or a dark t-shirt, so I'm going to uncheck white and then select the darker colors, or I'll just click that select dark colors button. Then go ahead and add your design. Um, to do that, you just go to under add design, click choose file, then click browse files and upload it from your computer. Uh, I went ahead to my friends at Vexels and found a nice little travel to Miami design, which um, before I, when I was prepping for this video, I was actually about to travel to Miami and I've since returned. Love it there, um, beautiful, um, hot. But anyways, found a really cool design that I think will really help me gauge how well their print quality is uh, is gonna look because it's got a you know bunch of different elements, a nice gradient, etc. So I'll show you what that ended up looking like um, after I received it soon. Um, again here, oh, okay, so here we go. You can see the colors, you can see the sizes, etc. So I mentioned you wanna select all colors, select all sizes. At least with this design, it actually works on both white and black. So I went ahead and literally selected all. 
Uh, and then from here, you can actually see, uh, you can pop out from the side of the website. You can get sort of a chart. It's similar to what you would find on like Printify, for instance. Uh, if there is variable pricing for things like the size or the color, um, you'll be able to find that um, under the product variance and shipping information. So you can see based on size, based on color, and you can get the shipping information. So it's going to cost uh, $4.50 for extra small through extra large, and then $4.99 for 2XL, 3XL, 4XL. And then you also see the additional item costs there. Um, by the way, like when you create shipping profiles on places like Etsy, for instance, where I'm going to show you how to integrate, you don't have to discount for the customer the shipping rate for the additional item. So if you get a, you know, multiple product purchase from a customer on Etsy, and let's say you offer, you have the Etsy free shipping guarantee. Well, what if you just keep charging $4 and 50 cents per item and the extra profit you keep will help offset that, you know, $35 free shipping guarantee. If it's not something you're familiar with, it's something on Etsy that you should probably opt into. Uh, I can kind of talk you through it a little bit later when we get to Etsy. All right, and then click create template when you are good to go and you have created your t-shirt template. From here, you can either create an order, you can upload the product to anywhere that you have your integrations done. We haven't done integrations yet, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click create order and that I'll come back to it uh, later, but that's gonna be one of my sample orders. Then, of course, I created a hat. You guys know I sell a lot of hats, especially on uh, Amazon uh, print-on-demand hats. So currently, they've got a knit beanie uh, with a puff, they've got a normal uh, beanie, and then they've got a trucker cap, which you can see here behind me. So I went with the trucker cap here, uh, even though in this picture I went with the beanie. I think I later changed my mind and went to the um, to the trucker hat, but I went to Vexels again and grabbed a graphic, and I wanted to see ultimately how this would print on a finished product. So um, went instead of the beanie, I decided to pivot to the trucker cap here. That you can see the mock-up, and uh, we'll see how it printed. I will show you shortly. Also, I went with some wall art. I know this is not something I normally do, but it's something I think, you know, if I was going to create my own like branded website, like maybe a Shopify store, I think that's more or less the type of product that I would want to sell. I don't know that if I'm on a, I don't want to directly compete with like Amazon, you know, if I'm just selling t-shirts or something, just because think of how hard it is for me to acquire customers without paid ads. Like if I'm just looking for organic um, traffic from Google, and it's something that's like a t-shirt where I know Amazon's got like 10 million plus t-shirts in their catalog. Like I'm not going to stand a chance. Whereas like wall art, I think definitely less competition. So I don't know, something like that. I was just thinking, I was, you know, thinking out loud, sharing my thought process with you guys. So let's review some metal art here. By the way, metal art, I've done a re review on that. I think in the past, um, someone had sent me some metal art that uh, actually ended up giving to my girlfriend as like a birthday present, I think, because I sent them a picture of us. And uh, if you've ever seen her YouTube channel, it's in like the background when she records. But anyways, I went and I found a cool neon photo of some uh, jellyfish. I found it on the website Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S, where you can go and you can find people that are like into photography. Uh, anything they upload there, you have complete rights to use for personal use, commercial use, etc. You don't have to credit the artists either, even though I will credit them later. I'll show you who it was. Uh, but ultimately, I took this photo. Actually, you can see the artist right there, Irina Eraser. By the way, I have no clue how she got this photo because I imagine she had to go underground or underground, underwater. Anyways, uploaded the photo to Awkward Styles and you can see right here on the right-hand side a uh, mock-up of what it looks like. But of course, it's going to look better in real life when I show you the sample order results. So I went ahead, I placed the sample orders and waited um, roughly, I don't know, a week or less before I received them. Actually, I think I probably was traveling and then by the time I got back, they were here. So let me really quickly show you what these samples ended up looking like. All right, guys, you can see here the Bella Canvas 3001 with the Miami design printed. I ordered a maroon color and you can see here the print quality looking really crisp, really nice. It's got the gradient in the sky, no problem. So I'm definitely happy with how this turned out from Awkward Styles, right in line with what pretty much everybody else that reviewed um, their products on YouTube had to say about them. Next up, we have the trucker hat here. It's got the mesh backing, okay? And got that nice royal blue color. Uh, printed the American flag beers on them. I hope it's focusing. I can't really tell on this end. I'm using a cell phone to record. But it did actually print the design on nicely with all the detail in the graphic. Nothing got you know cut off or chopped or anything like that. When I had reviewed Redbubble hats, there was definitely a uh, point where they could no longer print 
fine detail in the design, but this looks really nice. So I'm really happy with how this turned out here in the hat. And last but not least, we have the jellyfish metal print. And I don't know if it's because I have a light <laughs> shining on it, which you can actually see in the reflection there, but it looks so vibrant and lifelike. I mean, check that out. That's sick. I think it printed extremely well. Uh, relative to my expectations, at least. I think this looks really cool. Next, let's take a look at Awkward Styles integrations. So I mentioned they connect with Etsy. They also have a Shopify app, so you'll want to use that if you would like them to fulfill your Shopify store orders. And they connect with WooCommerce. And I'm sure they'll be adding some in the future, by the way. So I went ahead and connected them to my Etsy shop. All right. And Guys, there's no excuse. Connecting with Etsy is a two-click integration, all right? From Awkward Styles, on the left-hand side in the navigation, click where it says integrations, then where it, you see Etsy, go ahead and click connect, click the connect button, and then click allow access. And boom, just like that, you're done. It's 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 that easy, all right? Um, from there, you'll see under your stores tab on the navigation, you'll see the stores that you've connected to Awkward Styles. Uh, you can probably connect more than one store. In this case, I only tried to connect one Etsy store. You can see the uh, status there. As long as it says active, they will fulfill your orders that they recognize. Sometimes people ask, can you integrate with more than one production partner? The answer is yes. They only fulfill the orders that originated from that production partner. So um, as long as you see the active, Awkward Styles will fulfill any products that you created through the Awkward Styles product creation wizard. Speaking of adding products, you can go ahead and click the add product button right here and it will take you <clears throat> to the uh, product catalog here. From here, you just need to select, again, kind of like we what we did earlier, go ahead and select from the catalog the uh, type of product you wanna add. In this case, instead of doing another Bella Canvas 3001, I went with the Gildan 5000 because it's a little bit cheaper and this is one that I am open to using at times. It's not something that I'm always trying to use because I've definitely gotten um, less favorable feedback from the Gildan 5000 not nothing related to the printer just the shirt itself uh, sometimes so but if I'm just selling a product that I only want to offer like one color in like if it's just going to be a black t-shirt or something sometimes I will use a Gildan 5000 t-shirt because as you'll notice there the pro plan brings the price down as low as seven dollars and 59 cents so we're locking in even more um, savings there increasing our profit margins so you already are familiar with the creation wizard so go ahead and upload your designs i went ahead and i selected just the color black here and i uploaded the white design that i got from creative fabrica that says vote we're ruthless this was trending just a couple weeks ago so i figured hey why not throw it up on my etsy shop all right, and after you click create template you then are you know faced with the same options as before create order upload product or view templates. In this case, I clicked upload product. All right, and then it takes you to a uh, prompt and you'll notice I've got my Etsy shop listed right there and I've got a big green button that says upload. So you guessed it, I'm gonna click that button and next it's gonna allow me to select my mockups. I almost always favor the flat mockups. So that's what I decided to roll with here, especially when I'm selling like unisex t-shirts. I don't like to show somebody wearing the shirt. I just go with the flat mockup. Uh, after that, you can set a title, you can set your description. Uh, the default is the product visibility will be visible so people can find it. You can add your 13 tags. Then with your sections, you can either set this in Etsy by editing the listing or you can just click this synchronize shop sections button right here. It'll pull in your Etsy sections into this drop down, and then you can select whatever section you want to add it to. Um, then shipping profiles. So if it's the first time you've pushed this product type from Awkward Styles, you want to check the box for create new shipping profile. Now it will create the shipping profile for this product type. And the reason I'm saying that is because uh, let's say you're selling the, in this case, the Gildan 5000 t-shirt. Well, that's going to have a different shipping profile than if I wanted to sell the metal wall art. Okay, so if you're switching your product types around, make sure you allow them to create the right shipping profile. And um, after that, just select that shipping profile based on the product type you're pushing. Um, from here, you can scroll down to the bottom. You can see the sizes that are getting pushed, the colors that are getting pushed. You can see the price under the price column that you're going to pay Awkward Styles to fulfill it. And next to that, you can see the retail price here, which, by the way, you can edit and you can configure what price your customers are going to pay. When you're ready, go ahead and click Upload Product. 
and it is going to begin syncing that to your Etsy shop. I think it took like 15, 20 seconds max for it to be live in my Etsy shop. Um, so I went to Etsy and boom, you can see right here, uh, I've got my vote were ruthless shirt. You got the flat mock-up. Um, if I'm being honest, like from here, I'd probably go and like make a custom mock-up. You know, I always like to set myself apart. So anything that's default, not that there's anything wrong with the default flat mock-up here, but if it's the default, then you can bet that other people are going to be using similar mock-ups. I always want to stand out, especially on Etsy, especially on Amazon. Well, on Amazon, you have to have the white white background but different story for a different day we're talking about etsy here um so yeah i'll probably go customize that um that thumbnail i'd probably also you know increase my price and then run a sale okay so that's just another thing that i do you know I, we, we have we have videos on this channel talking about etsy optimizations but since we're on the topic here i just figured i'd um, give it a shout out and you can go ahead and click the edit button in awkward styles and you can actually perform edits to the existing product template in awkward styles okay so when you do this this is like altering what awkward styles will create should somebody order from etsy in the future okay so if you need to go ahead and like click update product and change anything this is where you would do it i just wanted you to know that, that is available i can't think of a use case for this but i know i've done it in the past where it's like I don't know, something might change. Uh, you need to make an edit to the design. Maybe you realize you made a typo in the design, something like that. Well, go ahead and edit it, save the um, update. So in the future, it fulfills to your customers the uh, version of the design that doesn't have a typo. You get what I'm saying? Just wanted to make sure you were aware that was there. All right, so also um, kind of wrapping up here, in the navigation, there's a billing section. You're gonna wanna add a credit card here so that when you make that order, Awkward Styles, as soon as possible, when they detect the order, can begin fulfillment. They will not begin fulfilling your order until you pay them. They must be paid first before they can create your order, ship it to your customer so that you can get paid and we can lock in our profits, okay? I mean, it makes sense, guys, all right? Um, you can also see they had a free plan. They have a, a pro plan. I mentioned earlier that with the pro plan, actually, I'll tell you about that in a second. I wanted to mention also that on the billing section, after you add a credit card, there is a transactions table. So you can actually see all of your previous transactions between you and Awkward Styles. If you want to top up and add money to your account, if it's deducting money because it's fulfilling orders, you can find all of those things as well as a timestamp here in the transactions table. Now, I mentioned here that you get 30 days free of the pro plan just for signing up. And again, signing up is free. So again, really good deal. Uh, but then also lock in 60 additional days with the code Ryan Hoag, R-Y-A-N-H-O-G-U-E. And yeah, um, what's not to love? You get 90 days of super discounted fulfillment. Uh, I believe it says up to 20% discount on all catalog products. Um, but you know, you can go on your own time and check out all the other benefits of Awkward Styles Pro. Just to let you know, they do have a Pro Plus option. If you are moving like hundreds of sales a day, I think they said the benchmark they prefer is like 500 sales a day, which would be an incredible um, number to to reach. Uh, if that is you, then contact them and they'll work with you on custom pricing. I'm sure if you're just a couple hundred products a day too, you might as well reach out and see what they say. Um, they're very accessible, very easy to work with, at least in my experience. So figured I would uh, you know, let you know that this is here. All right, and you can see here discount preview when you do lock in pro, which um, you're getting for free just by signing up. So <laughs> make sure you do that. Uh, you get you know $3 off the champion unisex t-shirt, um, $3 off this shoulder tops t-shirt, which I bet you that does real well on Etsy, that one in the, the second slot there on the top row. Uh, crop top hoodie, $4 off. Uh, short sleeve onesie, $2 off. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I'm 33, so a lot of my friends are having kids right now. So if I need to crank out like a baby shower gift really quickly, go grab a onesie for $8, not bad. Make it custom, put their name on it. You know what I mean? Look like a genius. Um, yeah, and it's just to show, this is from their website, so I'm sure there's probably more than just these names, but... As of right now, um, some of their clientele include Nickelodeon, Smart Study, Wayfair, De Don Clemente, Home Chef, and Pfizer. So guys, that's it for the Awkward Styles review. Let me know if you've used them in the past, your thoughts, your feedback in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to sign up. Use the code Ryan Hoag. Lock in 90 days of pro for free. Um, I do have my full print on demand course, so make sure you check that out as well. If you are getting started on your print on demand journey, the earlier you enroll, the more value you get out of the course because I'm going to let you benefit from my five plus years of experience and knowledge to take 
every shortcut possible to success and you can find out more the link is in the description guys thank you for watching please hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already and i will see you soon with a new video